All right, 445 this morning. Let's get you outside a live look towards Frederick. And we are seeing rain across our region. Doesn't from this view, you can't necessarily right. see if it's uh, coming down in that area. Let's check in with Taylor to see uh, which parts of the DMV are being impacted by this rain. I know it's a little earlier for some parts. Is it kind of moving its way throughout the, the region right now? Yeah, we'll kind of have these on and off showers uh, continue across the whole area throughout the day. So right now, you may briefly be getting a break only for more showers to build back in, especially throughout this morning. So uh, most of the area saw steady rainfall move through here uh, over the past hour. Some of you have started to dry out a little bit but it kind of shows you that uh, the roads are already very wet from all the rain that has uh, fallen overnight and we're not sudden done with the activity either. So one, allow some extra time for your morning commute and two, have your rain gear all handy. We have some upper 60s, low 70s temperature wise. Here's that batch of steady rain that's kind of lifting north and west of the city for now. So again, if you're on the eastern side of the city, uh, you're starting to dry out a little bit only for additional showers to roll back in here shortly. Uh, that first batch of steady rainfall certainly produced a good amount. It was coming down steadily uh, and uh, it's only added to the water on the road. So again, uh, I even drive me driving in this morning. Uh, it was kind of rough, uh, especially in a couple of spots, just because there's a lot of water standing on the roads right now. Uh, this area of low pressure is going to lift northward across the area. I, 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 it's actually going to stay slightly east of us, but keep us very unsettled for the next couple of days. So what that means is that it's going to be so slow moving. It's not just today we'll pick up on some rainfall, but uh, a couple of days after this, we'll have the chance for some showers. Today will be the worst of it, and that will hold temperatures back in the 70s. The worst of it is actually moving through this morning. We'll have some on and off showers continue all the way through midday. Then notice it becomes more scattered by the afternoon. Uh, the showers, maybe a rumble thunder will continue through this evening and possibly last all the way through early tomorrow morning. So keep in mind the evening commute tonight and even the morning commute tomorrow morning could end up being a little bit soggy out there. So uh, talking about some future cast rainfall totals on top of what we have already seen fall so far, we could pick up on maybe a half inch to an inch uh, throughout at least Thursday, maybe in Friday morning. 75 degrees, mostly cloudy, very humid. We'll have the on and off showers throughout this afternoon. Maybe a rumble, a thunder or two. That's really it. Uh, we'll have the chance for some showers overnight through early tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow, though, that shower threat should slowly decrease throughout the day. We may briefly gain some sunshine. If we do, we're going to warm back into the low 80s. So here's a check on that seven-day forecast. Yes, we have the chance for showers tomorrow and Friday, but it's going to be significantly less than today. The weekend, we're going to dry out. Fall officially arrives Sunday morning, and it's going to feel like it too with uh, morning temperatures in the 60s, afternoon highs in the low to mid 70s.